my research group at RISE uh, has pri primarily three focuses and uh, we do a lot of uh, nanomaterial synthesis. So a lot of focus in my group was on the low dimensional materials, examples like uh, nanotubes, two dimensional materials, uh, and uh, the composite uh, as well. So another uh, direction is on the catheterization. So we're very interested in using advanced technique to catheterize the material we synthesize. And finally, obviously, the application. So we're very interested in applying the material that uh, we understand the structure so they can be useful in some application. The current focus is more on the environmental water treatment and some bio applications. When I first started my career, when I look back, I think one of the major reasons that I choose this uh, path is interest. I'm very interested in finding out uh, new things. That basically drive me in my research. Uh, when you are interested in finding out more about unknowns, that actually I think is the fundamental uh, driving force for me to do my kind of research. So I think, uh, again, uh, what drives me could be a very uh, good example. Of, I mean, it's not just me. For many, many of my colleagues in the research community, scientific community, I think most of us have a very curious mind. Uh, we are interested in learning about unknowns, and I think that's very important for the young researchers who want to get involved. They need to have a genuine interest in what they do. The second advice I would give is that uh, they probably need to figure out uh, what is their strengths. They need to stay close to their strengths. That way they can develop better for their future career. At some point of your career, you need to think about uh, contributing to the bigger community. That's one of the, the driving force for me. I want to give back to the material community. Being an editor will give me the opportunity to serve this broader material community better. Uh, I can first say something about the exciting part. The exciting part for me is to really have the opportunity to look at a lot of fascinating work by my colleagues because they submit the papers to the journal and I got the chance to see it firsthand. I think that's really exciting for me to learn a lot of things from very diverse field. Material science is very interdisciplinary. So you got to learn a lot of interesting things. The other side, the challenging part is, uh, I think one thing very challenging is uh, you cannot publish everyone's work, right? So sometimes hard decision has to be made, but uh, I think that's, that's something an editor should be fair and trying to do the best they do. One thing good about editors like us, because we are very active researchers, we understand the glory and the pain of doing research. We are trying to be as considerate as we can, as understanding as we can. But in the end, uh, we only have limited space for publishing. I think one thing the young people can do better is to think about how to write your uh, paper in a very intelligent way. What I'm saying is, for example, simple things like how do you formulate your title, how to write very informative abstract, and uh, even how do you write cover letter to editors are very important. Even though you may think that's trivial. If I have good results, I should be able to publish. But that's actually not true. You need to pay a lot of attention to those uh, small things. I think uh, if you can organize your result in a logic way and uh, write that in a professional, you know, uh, right now most of the journals still publish in English. So if they can do that, I think uh, the amazing result can get better public uh, forum uh, to get people to know those work. We are very happy about the trajectory of the journal so far. We have been able to maintain a high profile while accepting a lot more original research article and that's what we intend to do. We want to provide a broader forum for material science uh, people that uh, have a choice to publish their my most exciting result. We are certainly hoping that uh, we can keep this uh, profile and uh, remain on this trajectory to become more prominent in the publishing domain of material science. Again, that needs everybody's uh, support, including authors and reviewers, not just editors' job. That certainly is our hope. 
I think one thing really good about the event that uh, I'm personally excited about is uh, we can actually promote the young generation of uh, scientists. I think they, they are absolutely important to develop the future of material science. When we started this series of material t science future workshop uh, last year at Rice University, uh, we certainly want to talk about what research would be like in 20 years in material science. But on the other hand, we are also talking about the young people because that's basically the future of uh, material science as well, and actually the most important ones. So the workshop coupled with this Material Today Rising uh, Star Award, I think it's a very important forum to promote the young people and uh, to let the community come together. Some of our very high profile invited speakers, for example, the speakers we have today, are all excellent researchers and to share that perspective of uh, what the future research will be like. So we need to always looking forward as a community.